Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Sherry Aubrey's story, the light novel series that I'm lightly working on. Yes, I had to change up the intro a little bit because I, I, I remember the last update, I was talking about me actually trying to do more videos, but then all of a sudden me and um, Lazy Panda started collabing together to do some streams together, and I've basically not been devoting as much time to Sherry Aubrey's story because I've also been going to the gym but that's over now, so that's why I'm actually making this video that's literally a few days out from me finishing up my gym membership. But anyway, welcome back to another Sherry Aubrey story video. So, without further ado, let's like, get into this like short little update and let me just basically fill you all in on what's happening. And of course, for a start, I must say, yes, I think we're going to go back to the monthly format where it's like, I will do an update video every month rather than try to do an update like, well, as soon as something new happens, like I did try to do before, but then a lot of things got in the way. I will say though, the most exciting thing that's happened, and I actually can't even remember the date because it's been so long now since it came out, but the book cover for Sherry Arbor's story has actually finally been revealed. In particular, Sherry Arbor's story volume one. And again, let me just show that there in the background. It's probably already the uh, background image for this video. It's beautiful. I already made my video on it. You don't need to know more than that. Obviously, if you want to ask me more about it, just go to my live streams on twitch.tv slash joesnightflyer. I stream most of the time, so I'll probably be there to answer your question. But yeah, other than that, let's actually talk about Volume 1 itself and what its progress is like. So, as I've just mentioned there, I haven't been, like, getting much time to actually edit Volume 1, but I have actually still been basically, like, rewriting Volume 1 again to give it another look, because you can't ever, like, <laughs> not, like... Give a moment to recheck the story, even if you said you're done with it. Like, you gotta keep checking it until the very end, you know? So, in Volume 1, I'm basically, like, not even halfway in. I'm, I'm probably nearing the halfway mark of getting it done. But there's still quite a long way to go. So, once I get that done, hopefully then, if I give myself some time, I'll look into the copyright. I'll look into maybe doing up the um, contents page of Volume 1. And then, you know, actually, like, basically advertise it and then publish it. I was going to say just publish it, but I, I probably should, you know, advertise it more. But again, that all depends on various factors, because in my current life, I've actually been accepted to um, part-time work. I'm just waiting to hear back from the company themselves on, like, what my hours are going to be. It's been almost a week, though. I'm internally crying, and I really hope to get back to me soon, because it's causing me a lot of stress. I can't, like, lie about that. But other than that, uh, when it comes to the progress on Volumes 2 to 16, I did a little bit of progress on uh, Volume 16, but not too much. So, yeah, because I basically swapped back to editing Volume 1 again. And as, as I mentioned before in a previous update, I kind of swap between them. So sometimes I'll be like editing Volume 1. And sometimes if I don't feel like editing Volume 1, I'll be editing to Volume 16. And vice versa, it keeps going. And there's also like other kind of like books that I also want to write too. So I'm also editing them too. But yeah, as you uh, already know, because I started a video, I already mentioned how videos will probably be be like lighter as the uh, as much as I really don't want them to be lighter, but they're gonna have to be. It's gonna be even lighter than that. Actually, it's not even gonna be just like a monthly update video. It's probably only gonna be like an update video like per month, like at most. That's probably the bare minimum you're gonna get from this channel from now on. If I'm gonna be so busy streaming. Then I've got this like part-time work going, and in March there's kind of a few events coming up as well. But again, this is all subject to change. I could literally just update uh, with another update video like tomorrow about something random that's come up that's, you know, big and needs to be said. But yeah, I think uh, since it's going to be a while since we're going to have any uh, meaningful updates to uh, Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1, let me just show you this little teaser of a sketch that I'm getting from an artist right now. Of course, I'm not going to spoil what this uh, new uh, concept image is, other than the fact that it's a concept image. And I think it's going to be something that lines up with something that's happening next month for Sherry Albert's story. So even though I just told you it's going to be like an update video a month, I kind of lied. It's, it, at most, there's going to be two videos for Sherry Albert's story next month. But yeah, thank you so much for listening to this update video on Sherry Albert's story. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you for listening. And I hope you'll keep up with the updates, even if they're going to be far and few between. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to another update video on Sherry Arbor's story, take two, because the first take I did not have a filter on the mic and it sounded absolutely horrendous. Anyway, other than information that you did not need to know, let's actually start to get into what I'm actually going to be doing for this update. So first and foremost, let me just say, volume one has been edited once again. Honestly, is there any news at that point to say that volume one has been edited again? I feel like every other like update will mention volume one in some capacity. Now, as of recording this, I actually haven't edited it recently, but I'm like confident enough right now to just leave it to the side for a little bit, especially because I have work tomorrow. So yeah, I'll obviously be giving an update that later, probably in the month or maybe next month about where volume one is and so on and so forth. I will also mention real quick, uh, I hope you like the April Fool's update, or not update, but I should say the um, joke video. Because honestly it was kind of like just funny to do a little bit just to throw it out there and whatnot. And you know, at least this time I did say in the video, like it was basically April Fool's, which I actually just reminded myself there I need to actually uh, edit that title to title as an April Fool's so people don't actually think it's an actual new light novel series. Because I already mentioned that I'm working on Sherry Albert's story and like potentially maybe working on like other books as well. So Let, let's just keep the those two. I don't want to also have to write like Joseph Knife Liar's story as well. So volume one, there's a few things I need to do in the back with the actual light novel itself. Obviously, I guess like you can say like maybe like if I leave it long enough, I might do another edit of it again. But it's mainly, I guess, just looking into the copyright and trademarking and basically just registering the book in certain places before I could actually publish it. Uh, but other than that, honestly, it's kind of just like the first thing I really need to do before any of that, or even I could just do that and do this at the same time, is look into basically advertising Share Albert's story. Because as you may know, I'm not the best at advertising things. So I may need to do just a bit of research on how to advertise it better and maybe get a few more things off Fiverr for various different things. So like, I was thinking like maybe at some point I need to actually build to a point where I have like an actual ad that I can play and I would actually, you know, put money into to get it displayed on like, you know, YouTube ads and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, again, this is all like background stuff. You don't really need to know too much about that. But obviously if you have more questions about that, leave them below in the comments. Or just go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash josephnightflyer, and you know, I'll probably answer you there if I can. So, I need to also mention this as well, because a lot of the thumbnails have changed, and this is probably the first video where like, a new thumbnail, or the new f uh, thumbnail format has been used, but it's not getting its thumbnail replaced. I think these thumbnails are better than what they were before, especially at the start. Uh, obviously, if you don't like them, then obviously you can give me some like feedback and advice on that if you don't really like the thumbnails. I can try and look into it a bit more, but honest to God, there are so many different text options in the new Photoshop software that I'm using now. So, And that's the main reason I even like updated all of them in the first place is because I had unlimited saves and the font that I used before isn't actually available in the uh, new Photoshop software. So, yeah. So, what are the main distractions from me actually editing Sherry Arbor's story? It basically boils down to two things, right? When I stream on uh, Twitch, because I do quite a lot of that, and my work life. Now, to be fair, my work life, it's only two days a week, really, because on Wednesday, like, it's not even a half day, and I'm home early. But one of the first things I'll probably think about doing is, oh, I wonder what I'm going to stream today, you know? And it really does get in the way, like, this... Uh, week for example when I got off on Wednesday I don't think I've done even a single bit of editing on Sherry Albert story I might have done like a tiny bit of editing on volume 16 but that's probably it honestly so yeah I'm just leaving this out here just to let everyone know like you know if you're curious why it takes so long for me to get around to Sherry Albert stuff even like just making videos on it it's because I'm just I I'm doing that and I'm also finding time to try and relax in between which may or may not be a bit of a lie I'm not gonna lie because I, I am kind of like I guess a workaholic I always got to be working on something I can't just take a break but hopefully soon uh, I'll learn to take a break especially because I thought in March that was going to be my uh, most busiest month because of the amount of like events happening during that month but it looks like April's also gearing up to be that same thing because this April we got a new Sherry Arbor story concept coming out like actual character concept brand new so it's nice to actually see a new concept in the works 
And that should be due at the end of this week as I'm recording. 2nd of April, by the way, if you need to know. Um, another thing that might be happening is I might be uh, traveling abroad again. But that does depend on my workplace because I don't know how they would feel if I just suddenly went to them. Hey, do you mind if I just took a week break uh, from this place even though I just started working like a month ago? But to be fair, it's at the end of the month. Maybe they'll be alright with it. Maybe they won't. I don't know. And it's a bit in the air anyway because... It's my mate that has to decide, like, if I can even tag along or not. And honestly, if I can, I will probably be, like, taking pictures stuff. And I'll probably actually do a podcast episode on it, if you don't know. Um, I used to do a podcast all called uh, The Night Flyer Podcast, but it's kind of just, like, every so often I'll be like, eh, nah, I don't really want to update it all the time. It's kind of just, like, I'll make a podcast episode when I really feel like it. And obviously, as of like right now, with all the stuff I mentioned here, I don't really have the time to be doing a podcast episode unless I make a stream dedicated to being a podcast episode, which I might actually have to look into that because that'd be an interesting concept of doing a podcast episode live and then getting people's like actual like feedback live and questions and whatnot. And it also would be funny if I'm like actually talking about stuff and then in the middle of it, somebody just raids me and then I just stop my conversation topic and I'm like, Oh, thank you so and so and so for the raid, and then just continue from there. But yeah, another thing that's happened on the uh, Sherry Arbor Story channel is the uh, new Sherry Arbor concept has been revealed for the first year anniversary of when I first revealed Sherry Arbor a year ago. I know, a lot of year goes and Sherry Arbor is mentioned in that sentence. But basically what you need to know is Sherry Arbor will be real is a meme that I made to basically start off this whole Sherry Arbor story and revealing it to the public. And... It's basically been a year. It was the 25th of March uh, when it was a year exactly when I actually uploaded that video. I know Sherry's uh, birthday herself is the 6th of June, which is, I believe, the same day I actually either started working on Sherry Arbor's story originally back in 2021 or even, like, um, I think that's why... Maybe the date when I actually finished editing Volume 1. It's, it's either start or ed uh, finished. And, yeah, it's just mad, like to see you're probably looking at that image right now in the background it's cool like and mad to just see like sherry arbor just fully there like you know it's not just like a headshot now it's like the full body concept and it's gorgeous i love the new background with it as well yanti did a brilliant job on it of course i'll leave their name just below here and uh yeah I again it's nice to see that we basically kept this going and i guess we'll just keep it going for a little bit longer i still hope to upload one video a month i did say that ages ago and i think we're doing a good job so far i think we will be able to hit that one video a month uh, like mark so yeah so i will also say this uh, as i'm going head first in all this there may be moments where i may need to step back a little bit and take it a bit slow again i do apologize for that but i am one person and i'm overloading myself a lot with like various different bits like obviously my job is one thing but streaming and then working on Sherry Arbors and I also want to try and maintain some semblance of a social life because again something this weekend will probably be happening to me and a few friends and I may not actually be available like probably from like Friday onwards or maybe Saturday onwards so yeah thank you all so much for watching this update it's more of an update on my life than Sherry Arbor's story but you know basically we're here like anyway so and you've listened this far so thank you so much for that honestly make sure to leave comments below on what you think of sherry albert's story and obviously if you want go to my twitch again uh, you can literally ask me live and i'll give you opinions live on sherry albert's story and so on and so forth make sure to also subscribe to the channel for more updates on sherry albert's story but mainly for in the next concept piece that will be coming out um, I, I would have to assume, let, let's just say middle of the month, around the middle of the month, this like new concept, uh, character concept will come out, basically new character as well. So yeah, look forward to that. I know it's weird, like, revealing another character when I said I didn't really want to make more characters, but I feel like there was a certain point I hit where I was like, you know what, there's like not enough new stuff right now, and I think this is probably a thing I could do right now to bide a bit of time just to like add another character. Because my alternative options were buying something for that advertisement I was talking about. And it was also getting another art piece on a character that's already um, revealed. So I was like, you know what? We'll get a brand new character concept. And plus, I just wanted to see what this artist, like art style would look like. 
because I don't know. I just I thought it'd be really cool. Anyway, sorry for keeping you this long. Uh, hopefully this video gets to you like maybe in a few days, like after I've actually finished work, I take the time to actually edit this video. But yeah, again, thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Hello everyone, welcome back to another new update video on Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series I'm currently working on. For this update video, we'll be talking about various different things like the trademarking for Sherry Arbor's story, the OST pieces being re-uploaded, and there's a new thing in the works. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing is the trademarking for Sherry Arbor's story. Uh, I've done this now roughly a few weeks ago, and I'm still waiting to hear back on how it's going, but I'm pretty sure it went through. I just don't know why it's taking so long to verify it, unless they just have a lot of trademark like stuff to look after. So yeah, we're just going to have to be patient with that. Um, but I did get a receipt basically like, I think it was two or three days after like I did it. So I think we've basically got it. I just, I'm waiting until the moment we can actually like get the title, like for example, the channel title and put a little TM beside that. That's going to be funny to see, honestly. But yeah, on to the next thing, which is about volume 16. So right now, um, before I actually was going to record another version of this update like ages ago, but now that I'm re-recording it, I've actually started editing volume 16 again when last time I actually said I wasn't. Now, uh, I'm still not done editing volume 16 or writing it, should I say, but I'm getting closer. It's <laughs> just... With every extra word I add to volume 16, I get closer to the end of volume 16. But yeah, no, I'm like a few chapters off now from actually finishing like my uh, writing of volume 16. And then who knows, maybe I'll move on to volume 17 afterwards. Now, this is a thing I thought I'd include in the update video itself because I didn't really mention it many places, I don't think. I think I made like one post on the um, actual Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel you're watching this on right now if you go to the community section because yes yeah, sometimes I do actually use the like the post system but mainly for Sherry Arbor Story stuff. But anyway the OST pieces I recently took down a lot of the old ones and re-uploaded some uh, newer like fresher looking ones uh, just because I was like you know what the uh, visuals are kind of outdated and now like there's this kind of consistent theme of like you know, the way the channel looks now, like if you look at this thumbnail, it looks similar to the last thumbnail, I'd assume so anyway, with the pink border and you have the little pink box where the text is in it and then obviously you have the background that was done by the book artist name on screen. And it's just, it's just such good art that I have to use that art now for every single video, you know? It's just like the Sherry Arbor Story logo, even though like we have uh, Volume 1's uh, logo for Sherry Arbor Story, I still like using the old one just for like the channel and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, just to let you know, the OST pieces uh, have been, I think at this point, actually re-uploaded. So it does depend when this video goes out because I don't even know if I'm going to have time to edit this today. Um, it's a Sunday and I have work tomorrow, so who knows. The next thing I want to say, and this is probably the biggest thing in this update, is that a new thing is in the works. And this thing in particular will take over a month to make. So I ordered it on the 17th of April, and it's 23rd today, and it's meant to be coming on the 17th of May. So that just gives you an idea of how big this next thing for Sherry Arbor Story is. Now, I will disclaim, this isn't like a, like a volume 1 like reveal date or anything like that. It's not even going to be the volume 1 free preview that I'm going to talk about after this point. It's actually just something else that's like a concept, but very, very different. And when it like releases, or when I get it, I might actually have to still do a bit more work on it. So it might even take longer than a month just to get this particular piece to you. It's <laughs> just like, yeah. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm just, I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens and what the uh, commissioned artist is going to do with this. And again, it isn't a... Uh, whatchamacallit, it isn't a um, art piece. This is completely different than an art piece. But, it may be a thing that may need art as well. So, yeah. And now for the final point that I just mentioned there briefly, Volume 1 Free Preview. Now, I've been on and off about the thought of maybe, like, uploading a free preview of Volume 1. So, like, that would include, like, you know, the, um, basically this, like, first few chapters of Sherry Arbor's story, including like the bits beforehand. And honestly, it might be a cool idea, you know, just to let everyone just 
have a read of the story and see like you know is there anything i need to change even in the beginning parts of sherry albert's story that like isn't up to like scratch with what people consider to be a good story and like i will say now i'm not actually like the big um biggest fan of criticism when it comes to what i do but i will try to take it on board because like it's just it's not even that like i'm gonna be like a douche about it it's just I just don't like it. It just makes me feel bad when I do all this work and then somebody starts commenting on it. But I do understand, though, that, like, it is required for me to actually, like, make this, like, you know, light novel series better. Like, if I were to get actual criticism and critique on my work. So, yeah, hopefully, if I do release it at some point, I'll let you all know. Um, but then, at that point, I'm debating, like, whether I need, like, a little ad for it. Because, like, you know, just dropping it out of nowhere doesn't really like make any sense to me you know but anyway that's just something that should be just kept in the back of your minds and along with my mind as well until i decide if i'm gonna do it or not and i still need to do the actual um contents page anyway but i'm currently like kind of making it by myself and we could just make the excuse of like it's a you know it's a, a concept kind of piece but i kind of want to try to release this like preview of volume one in its best condition as much as possible so We'll just have to see where that goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this update video. Obviously, if you want to see more updates in Sherry Albert's story, make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment on some of your thoughts and what you thought about, well, this series as a whole and what you'd like to see next on this channel. I have also considered actually getting, you know, for example, like uh, custom printed t-shirts and just wearing them for a video just to see what it would be like to have, like, for example, the logo of Sherry Albert's story on my chest. Just, you know, as a little fun experiment and even just anything else like that, you know, just something that's outside the realm of character profiles and update videos and all that. Just something that's different, but also relates to the series. I'd love to look into trying doing that as well. But anyway, thank you again so much for watching this update video and I hope to see you next time. And an unusual little intro, isn't it? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Sherry Arbor's story. This is the 16th update as far as I'm aware, unless I forgot to update the script for this video. Now, without further ado, and because, like, there's not really too much to talk about, well, actually, okay, that's a lie, there is a lot to talk about, let's get straight into it. So, firstly, trademark update, still pending. I'll probably just take out this segment next time, so I'm not just constantly saying the trademark's still pending, but, you know, w once it's, like, actually done, then I'm like, okay, now the trademark is done, and we can say a thing and whatnot, but yeah. Next thing I need to mention is that I'm actually almost finished writing Volume 16. I've been on a good writing spree, like, for this, well, let's say, like, week. I had, like, a day off yesterday because um, I was hanging out with friends and socializing, so I didn't really get to edit any more Volume 16, but... Trust me when I say it, like, volume 16 is almost done, and then hopefully I'll be moving on to volume 17 soon after. Uh, Battle with the Psychopath came out recently, and along with that came with the demo OST EP. Uh, I thought, you know what, it's just enough songs to count as an EP, so I'll actually upload it all as it was. And plus, I knew the uh, like new song that you saw at the start was coming. I was like, you know what, 
why don't I just make like the demo OST like piece? So like just slap them all together, make it into an EP first as one package, put that to the side, say hey that's what a demo track that I do sounds like, and now here we can like compare it to Shia Novice's uh, own kind of work and just show the difference there between that and that. Because I feel like if I put the EP with the newest song, it just, they wouldn't really fit together. Because like, you know, they're, they are demo OST pieces, they're demos. But this song is like, fully done, it's fully mastered and mixed and all that, so, yeah. And now that moves us into the next one, the Path to Her Savior lyric video. And that's not even just a lyric video. Unfortunately, if you're on my Discord, you would, would have seen the amount of teasers I posted about it. It's the same teaser, but just like uploaded to different channels and different social medias. But The Path to Our Savior is a video made by myself, Shia Novus, Magnum Opus, and Yuda Muda. So, of course, if you want to go see that uh, music video again, I'd recommend looking at it on this channel. It's there. And there's like a full on lyric video if I'd showed just the sound version. But I most likely did show the lyric video for this because. Well, I, I gave it a my all, I, I gave it a bit, good bit of a try, and I think it turned out pretty well. Especially the song itself, so, yeah. Now, one thing I didn't actually write down here that I probably should have, is the fact of, um, what's going to happen next? So, this was, like, something that was happening for over a month now, and is now it's finally finished, like, what am I going to do next? And honestly, I'm not sure. I think I just, I need some time to just relax and think about it. Especially because uh, currently, like, what's going to be happening now is that uh, this week is actually going to be... Well, the next two weeks, basically, are going to be pretty busy. Because this weekend is my um, first video's 10th anniversary, and I want to do some streams for that. And then afterwards, my birthday's coming up as well. So, yeah, honestly, I don't really have much, like news or updates to mention on what I'm going to be doing next, but I have some ideas of what I could do, it's just, I guess it's just, you know, sitting down and actually doing it. I know, like, when it comes to finishing volume 16, I might go back to edit volume 1 again and go from there, but other than that, when it comes to, like, concept pieces, maybe even more music and so on and so forth, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just go back to that idea I had where it's like, I start ordering different stuff off Fiverr that don't really, like, it isn't really music or it's like, pictures you know it's just a bunch of different bits but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this update video uh, i hope you enjoyed the song and i'll see you all hopefully in the next update video well, actually to be honest it won't be the next update video it actually will be the next video describing the song and its lyrics but anyway thank you for watching hello everyone welcome back to another update video on sherry arbor story this is the 17th update for sherry arbor story so without further ado Let's get into it. So, as per normal now, this is the trademark section of the video. And all I gotta say is, it's still pending. There's literally nothing else I can add to this other than it is pending, so yeah. Other than that though, I will say that this update video has kind of already been done in the D3 2023 video if you want to check that out on the Joseph Knight Flyer channel. I'll probably leave a link in the card just here or down below. But other than that, I finished writing volume 16 and I did move on to volume 17, but I pro like paused the progress for volume 17 because I'm re-editing uh, volume 1, but yeah, it's mainly because for volume 1, I want to re-edit it and I want to try and get like a, a preview of volume 1 out there in the world so people can read it, you can give me feedback on it, and we can basically go from there. Again, if you want more information, D3 has a lot more. Uh, nuance to that and what I've talked about. All I really got to say is, uh, other than like me trying to make this preview, I was actually delayed a little bit in getting back into it because I was actually going to do a bit of editing yesterday on volume one, but uh, my word subscription ran out because my uh, school account is no longer active and they've most likely deleted that account because I don't actually go to the college anymore. So uh, yeah, I had to fork out some money to actually buy word again. And uh, was it worth it? Eh. You can leave that to yourself if you think that's worth it or not. Now, other than that though, the Path to Our Savior uh, instrumental is finally out, along with a karaoke video. Make sure to check those videos out whenever you get the chance, and if you want as well, you can head over onto TikTok and do a duet of it, where you can sing the lyrics alongside the instrumental itself. 
Now, this is probably going to be the main thing that's going to be a big change for Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1 in particular, because I'm changing the logo for Volume 1 to this one on screen. And you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail, and you've probably already seen it during D3 if you watch D3 first. But basically, with this logo, I feel like it makes more sense to have this logo than the other logo, and not even for the uh, Twitch streaming reason I gave in D3, but mainly because this logo looks exactly, well, is the same logo that the channel uses, it just has volume one under it. And I feel like having a more consistent logo art style is better than having, you know, two different art styles and then, you know, confusing people later on, like whether they're thinking, oh wait, is this like a different story or is this like the same one? Like what's the story of that, you know? And I do know myself, I'm probably gonna have to go back over some of the old videos now and change some of the thumbnails again, just to use this new logo just to keep everything on the same page. Now, for the old logo, I think I'm going to keep it in Volume 1, at, like, on the inside of Volume 1. But for the, like, actual book cover, I'm redoing that right now, and that should be the next video that comes out after this one. But basically, that old Volume 1 logo, I think I'll put it somewhere. I don't think I'm going to just completely leave it and banish it to the Shadow Realm forever, so... Yeah, make sure to keep your eyes out for whenever that logo actually reappears. There is also another surprise that I can't really talk about too much. All I can say is this one will probably take another two weeks, so I wouldn't even be surprised if this actually just comes out in July. It's all like what this new thing is relates to what's already been made on the Sherry Arbor Story channel, but will most likely not actually be uploaded to Sherry Arbor Story channel. I have to think about this if I can or not. Um, but other than that, the only hint I can give is basically to go back and watch D3 2023, because in that, that's the hint, if you pick up what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this short update video. I know it's pretty short and there was actually a lot to talk about, but again, as I've already said, I went over a lot of points in D3 anyway, and I don't think there's really much point of me just waffling on and on about these various different points. Um, as I said though, like for the new book cover, there'll probably be another new video, hopefully coming out before the end of June. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that one. So yeah, thanks again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Sherry Arbor Story. This is the 18th update for Sherry Arbor Story. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So first off, I need to say this, that I'm actually not going to be editing Volume 1 of Sherry Arbor Story anymore. So going forward, I'm just going to be editing Volume 17, and then hopefully trying to get the Volume 1 preview out, hopefully, I, I can't say any dates, but when I do have it ready to go out, I will tweet out about it on the Sherry Arbor Story Twitter account that you can find below in the description. So, Volume 1 is paused, the preview hopefully will be coming out at some point, I'm just working through the kinks to try and get it up somewhere, and then when it comes down to me editing volumes, I'm most likely just going to keep adding on to volume 17 onwards. So, for the next piece of news, what we have is the uh, new book cover for volume 1 has been revealed. Uh, I made a video about it now, probably two to three videos ago, depends when this video comes out. And as you can see, like, from the previous cover, it's like, obviously it's different in a sense where it's like, it's using the channel logo more than the like book cover logo and again I explained in that video more about why I changed the logo style for the actual book cover but yeah of course if you want to go see that might have it in the iCard or you could just check the channel out itself and just look up book cover update and it'll be there. So because I actually haven't gotten the um, the volume 1 preview out and ready I decided to kind of do this instead for this video to try and keep the update videos a bit more exciting rather than just being like oh yeah it's coming it's coming and it's coming, you know? And just keep saying that every time. So I'm going to reveal a new tag for Sherry Arbor's story. Now this one in particular is really kind of based on a few volumes ahead from volume 1. So I wouldn't even count this as being like a tag that's anywhere related to volume 1 itself. This is just a tag in the series itself. And this tag is horror. Because genuinely there have been some moments where... I just go into big kind of like like writing mood if I have the right music on as well and I just go to town on a certain kind of topic that's happening with a character uh, later on in the story. Again, I can't say too much more than that because it's going to start spoiling what happens ahead but just know the story itself does kind of 
yeah, no, I'm sorry. I can't say much more than that. If I say much more than that, I feel like I'm going to spoil the whole thing, so I won't. But anyway, other than the horrific themes awaiting you uh, whenever the first volume comes out and then volumes after that, uh, a new video, uh, The Path to Her Savior, that video itself has actually been covered by Hatsune Miku over on the Joe's Life Flyer channel. And I thought I'd just mention it here because it's still just so cool to like listen to and even on the Joe's Night Flyer channel itself you can actually hear both covers like side by side with um, Shia Novis in one ear and then Hatsune Miku in the other ear and it nearly kind of sounds like they do a duet in it honestly and it just, it just, it's really cool you should definitely go check it out I might leave a like link to that as well if I remember but yeah Anyway, thank you so much for watching this update video Hopefully the next update video after this, like not just update 19, but the next video I make in general for Sherry Arbor Story will be the announcement date of when uh, Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1's preview will be coming out. Because I am really determined to try, again I'm going to say this but it's not guaranteed, but I really want to try and get this out before the end of the year. At the, like, at the very latest, because I feel like... We've been going on now with this channel for over a year and I feel like it's finally time to put something out there and especially because like I want to actually release this preview so I can get some feedback on what people think of the story before I actually go back into majorly edit volume one again and make sure it's all up to par before actually going into releasing that if I actually look into the bits again and how to start releasing that because I need to go through different like process and stuff and I need to still wait on the trademark as well I believe but for now again the preview should be fine to just upload as it is. But yeah again thank you so much for listening to this update video and I'll leave you now with this outro. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Sherry Arbor Story. This is the 19th update and oh boy, has this update got a few things in. Because this is actually going to change a lot of what's going to be happening now for, well, let's just say the 15th of August onwards. But for now, let me just mention what's happened. So first and foremost, the trademark update section of the video is back because the trademark for Sherry Arbor's story was actually approved. So now officially, when you see that little TM beside Sherry Arbor's story, it's official now. So yep, yeah, that's it. That's all i got to mention about the trademark. I'm really happy that that finally went through. And we can just go on from there. And now another big update, literally just right after the trademark, is the fact that Volume 1, the preview for it, is actually now available out to read on Scribble Hub. Now, with the release of uh, Sherry Arbor Story Volume 1 preview, yes, I actually said the full title there once, uh, for once, um, it's kind of weird because... I, I will actually mention as well, before anyone says anything, depending on when this is uploaded, this actually might be uploaded on the 15th. Um, but essentially right now, I'm going to be not doing a kind of spoiler thing for the first week of the, you know, the preview of Volume 1 being out. Uh, so I hope everyone else can kind of follow that as well. I did tweet it out on the uh, Sherry Arbor Story Twitter account. That's Sherry uh, as Story, you know, A-S. Um, because I couldn't fit Arbor in between. I should have just went with Sherry Arbor just now thinking about it. But, you know, you make mistakes, you live with your mistakes. Um, I will say, I, I want to do that for a bit. And yeah, this will probably go out on the 15th. So I'll mention this as well. Because I want to try and get, or I want to start, like, on Twitter especially, I want to start talking about uh, the new characters and the characters that have been already like introduced but have new outfits so if you've read the preview of sherry arbor story volume one uh, you might want to actually tune out for this part because this is a kind of a bit of a spoiler well it's not really a heavy spoiler it's just the fact that sherry doesn't actually wear that white dress for the entirety of the story um you can see that in the story itself she actually has more uh normal wear so she has like pajamas for the first part of the volume she dreams about actually getting a whole uniform for herself and she has like another kind of casual outfit that she's wearing for this day out that she's gone on. Uh, so on Twitter, if you want to look for the um, Twitter account that should be below, uh, that'll actually tell you uh, or hopefully lead you to a poll that I may or may not pin. I'll have to see about that where I'm giving people the choice between two uh, outfits for Sherry Arbor to wear. And the reason I'm going to get another concept piece done for Sherry first is because she's already a character that has been drawn and, you know, it's not as complicated as getting somebody to draw a brand new character from scratch, so, yeah. And to be honest, I do kind of need to read back over Volume 1 to get a proper character profile. Make sure things are consistent when, like, between my notes and the story, 
of how a character looks. So, of course, uh, one of the characters introduced in the preview, uh, Dom Bremda, like, they would be a brand new draw. I believe Gavin Bremdat was also shown, and if he wasn't shown, I'd probably censor this part of the video, but I'm pretty sure he was also shown in the thing. Uh, and then there's also Sherry's uh, second mother, uh, Jovan Tristel as well. That's another character that needs to be drawn from scratch as well. Again, this is all why I'm doing Sherry first, like getting a new concept art piece for her. And it feels nice, you know, finally having a reason to get back into making more concept pieces for Sherry Albert Story, or really commissioning them, because I don't really... I'm not able to draw myself. But yeah, just that, I just thought I'd let everyone know about that, that new concept art pieces will hopefully be coming. Um, I have thought doing a little bit maybe of music again, but like, it'll depend. I'm not certain if I really want to go deep into that. So yeah, uh, obviously with the new concept art pieces hopefully coming eventually, which that'll probably take up the rest of the year now. <laughs> Good luck seeing uh, the rest of Volume 1 in this year. Uh... I want to also say that new character profiles will probably come out as well. I don't know if I'm going to do another a new like Sherry Arbor um, character profile, but character profiles mainly for the three other characters that I mentioned would also be just nice to see on the channel. You know, it would be nice to see some activity on the channel again because I do know I've been kind of keeping it low on the channel for a while now. I haven't really been uploading too much, but hopefully this is the start of me doing a lot more of Sherry Arbor's story. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This is huge stuff for Sherry Arbor's story here today like the trademark being finished and that I, I will say actually the funniest thing about that I think it was like a few days maybe a week after I uploaded the last update when it actually went through or something because I was checking I think it was before I uploaded to Scribble as well way before then so <laughs> it's mad and obviously you know volume one is actually finally out and you can read it and obviously it's free I, I, I know I didn't mention that. I really should mention that a lot this isn't paid for you can go to Scribble right now, you can go search Sherry Arbor Story, or you can search for Joe Snow Flyer. That's the name I'm going to be using, I know it says J Flyer on it, but we'll, it's just a shortened down version of my name anyway. Uh, but yeah, you can go into that, you can read it, you can read the prologue, which is just prologue Sherry Arbor. There's the uh, first chapter, second chapter, there's the Janikan Dictionary, the afterword, and the blurb. I believe I might be missing one more thing, but that's the majority of it. You get like a good bit of the actual content itself. Now, obviously, the afterword is different than what's going to be in the final one, but I thought, like, you know, like, not having the actual afterword in would make more sense. And you'll see, like, if I ever upload Volume 1 in its entirety, like, why I've done that. But anyway, I got a lot to think about Sherry Arbor's story future, so thank you so much for watching this video. I will say as well, actually, I nearly forgot this fact. But the channel has almost, re uh, almost reached 100 videos, which is actually insane to think about. I think we're on, as of this upload now, it'll be 99, unless I upload another video beforehand. But if I do hit the 100 video mark, thank you so much for basically sticking with this, like with Sherry Arbor's story and just listening to my ramblings and my updates and seeing how this weird light novel series is going for this amateur author, you know? But again, thank you so much for uh, watching and listening. And I'll see you in hopefully, maybe not even the next update. I'd hope it'd be now like the next uh, concept art video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 20th update for Sherry Arbor's story, the light novel series I was working on. I say I was working on because honestly it's actually been quite a while since I've worked on it. And there's a few different bits and bobs in my life that's kind of um, out of order right now. So like, I'll probably explain, explain that like more at the end of this like update video. But for now, I kind of want to just get into what's been happening with Sherry Arbor's story and where we're going from here. So yeah, the first point I have obviously is the fact that, well, this is the 20th update for Sherry Arbor's story. Which is just like thinking about that now, that is just insanity. Like what we're like 20 like updates in and i can't guarantee we'll go any farther than 20 but like it's still mad to think we even reached the 20th update in general so on the uh, at joe snow flyer channel on youtube i'm gonna be uploading soon a uh, update 1 to 20 soon uh once i've done this update edited it and put it into the software edited all the um updates again have them all back to back to back that will go up on the Joe Snow Flyer channel, so make sure to subscribe to that channel to look out for that. Right, so the next point here um, is literally about, like, essentially that there's two new uh, demo OST pieces that I've released. Now, uh, legit, I did actually want to upload 
uh, I have a chance first before the update and then that'll be the main focus of uh, this update but again as I said the um this update in general was meant to be on the 15th but it got delayed uh, due to bits again I'll explain at the end of the, this update uh, so then on the 16th the date puzzle released so instead of that being a part of update 21 that's also in this update as well which is kind of weird when you think about it because like I don't think I upload like music that often especially demo OST pieces but yeah there's just two new pieces if you want to listen to them now um I will say as well if I ever get the chance as well there's other like musical things in the editing software I'm using for my music that like if I really wanted to I could probably sit down and actually have a look at so maybe I might actually like just get another at least maybe one music piece in the next you know, let, let's actually, okay, yeah, no, we're, we're not going to set any timelines or anything, because I feel like if I start setting timelines, like, I could probably just disappoint everyone and be like, oh, there actually wasn't any m music, but just to know that in the music software itself, there is, like, different pieces, I just don't know when I'm going to get back to working on them. Right, uh, the next point here we, ha we have now for the update is the fact that there's actually a new playlist on the channel called Fan Creations, and admittedly, yes, it's literally all, like, well, a good few videos from the Joe Snipe Flyer channel, but it still kind of counts because it's not on this channel itself. So if anyone ever makes a video on Sherry Arbor's story, whether it's a critique of Sherry Arbor's story or whatever it is, like I'd like to add that video in general just in that playlist. And obviously when it comes to other social medias, then that's just different. Like for example, if it's on Twitter slash uh, X, I'm probably just going to have to like repost uh, or sorry, I'm, 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 literally I'm going with the X terminology. I, I want to retweet slash repost. Uh, if anybody does anything on Sherry Arbor's story, you know? So, I know as well, for this update, I was building up to a point where it's like, oh, there's going to be another new uh, art concept piece, because that was, like, the main kind of drive for this. And that was also going to be added in the 20th update, so, like, all this, like, was going to be a big bundle. We're going to have, like, the music, the fan playlist, the concept, and a bunch of other, like, announcements that, obviously, I'm going to talk about here. But, unfortunately, I've had to cancel... Uh, the commission and plus i'll be perfectly honest i'm really scared of like twitter slash xm artists because like i almost essentially got scammed but yeah uh, i will say as well i've also been thinking of adding more onto volume one's preview because for a while now on um scribble hub which by the way uh sherry albert story volume one is still uh rated five stars so make sure to go uh read that now should be linked in the description um, but I have been genuinely thinking about adding a bit more. I don't think I'll be adding more, um, like, chapters as they usually are, but, like, I think I might have talked about this before, where in Sherry Opera's story, there's, like, uh, the main story, and then there's usually a bonus chapter at the end of a volume, and that kind of, like, is, uh, like, it's kind of like its own different story, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, if I ever get around to it, I probably will just put that in, because I feel like that's a nice thing to have. Um, just to, you know, show what a bonus chapter would look like. And you never know, maybe I might decide to actually continue uh, Sherry and Don Bremdat's story, so. And see where they uh, went after, like, we left them off last. Right, so the next point as well is the uh, fact that Sherry Opera's story's uh, demo OST, along with the path to her savior and other bits of music, are now available on SoundCloud. I actually just randomly thought about it um, when I was uploading the music. I was like... Oh yeah, I used to like upload like music to like SoundCloud unironically. Like, um, the what I did before covers like was um, trying to sing this tr yeah, the trying to sing series, but then it evolved into Joe's mixtape, which Joe's mixtape then was all like uploaded onto SoundCloud as well. But then I didn't bother to really like use it much after. I think it was like once I got like um the like Joe's mixtape full album out. That's when I stopped uploading to it. But obviously now I've repurposed that. I've deleted a load of songs off it just to make like space in the future. There's a lot of space on SoundCloud, so I should be able to upload all the Sherry Arbor stuff going forward. But now if you check out the SoundCloud page, um, which hopefully I'll link in the description if I remember. And if I don't, please just let me know below. Uh, it's literally just every like single Sherry Arbor story demo OST piece, the Path to Our Savior, uh, the Hatsune Miku version of the Path to Our Savior, and so on. So yeah. Now, I'm going to, like, let the um, next part, eh, sorry, the next part of this um, video just be, like, me playing now the demo OST pieces, so have a listen.
Thank you so much for listening to the 20th update on Sherry Arbor's story. I will say, like, since the update's been pushed so much, maybe I might make this, like, update thing, like, more of an end of the month kind of thing, rather than the middle of the month. The middle of the month was nice, but, like, now that it's so delayed, like, I don't really know if I want to still have it in the middle of the month, especially when I don't know, like, how much more I'm going to be working on uh, Sherry Arbor's story, but yeah. So yeah, thank you for listening to Sherry Arbor's story part uh, of this video. Now I'm just going to explain a little bit of why this video was delayed and why I kind of like disappeared from streaming and so on and so forth. So unfortunately, um, someone close to me passed recently. And as you can imagine, like it must have been a big enough shock that like I literally wasn't even like recording or streaming or doing anything like it was... It was tough, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so, obviously, that's why the Sherry Arbor story update was also delayed. Which, actually, funny enough to think about it, but... Um, like, I didn't even have this recorded, obviously, before then. Uh, and then it happened, so I couldn't even, like, really record it. Because I was just... I was too distraught, I'll be honest. If you watch the um, sixth episode of Celeste, I go a bit more into detail about... Like, my feelings and stuff during... The last week or so and basically it's i think i mentioned like how much the person meant to me um but yeah sorry I just, i'm just like i'm got, i'm drawing blanks because i'm just being careful with what i say because this is probably one of the first times now on the internet that i don't want to overshare like every little detail i kind of just want to say that it happened that's why the update was delayed that's why there wasn't any streams and that's why now I'm also going to be streaming on Kick Slash YouTube uh, through Restream instead of uh, streaming on Twitch. But again, I've explained that again in the 6th uh, Celeste VOD. And I've explained it in the panel on my uh, Twitch channel if you want to check that out as well. Uh, obviously, Slash Joe's Night Flyer. But that just explains like how things are going to be going forward. And again, I'll have to see in the future where like Sherry Arbor's story slots in, to, uh, slots in with all this like in the future. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for listening to the 20th update. I, I'm very sorry for like just basically bringing down the mood, but I thought it needed to be at least said because I remember somebody on stream yesterday was asking me like, did you make the video? And I was like, oh no, I didn't make it. I just streamed instead. So technically this is the video, but obviously you kind of have to, you have to watch the um, 20th update first and then you get to the part where I actually talk about uh, why everything was delayed. But anyway... Thank you again so much for listening to this update. Uh, look out for the uh, 1 to 20 update on the Joe Smith Flair channel. And hopefully I'll see you again in the future at some point. So, yeah. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another update on Sherry Arbor's story. This is the 21st update for Sherry Arbor's story. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Because this is a pretty short update. There's not much to mention in this. So, yeah. Firstly, I'd like to say, finally, after all this time, since Volume 1's preview came out for Sherry Arbor's story, there's been an addition to it. So now we have Chapter 3, along with the other chapters, the blurb, and all the other bits and bobs in between. So hopefully, when you ever get the chance, go down to the description, click the scribble link, and you'll see Chapter 3 has been added. As for when I'll get chapter 4 out, eh, <laughs> who knows at this point. Honestly, it could be a while, um, it could literally be tomorrow, who knows. It just depends when I actually get the time and I'm in that mood. I edit over like chapter 4 and then just release it, so yeah. I wouldn't hold out hope for anything, but honestly, if I'm being smart about this, I'd probably release chapter 4 near around Christmas as a kind of Christmas gift to everybody who's been subscribed to the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel and anybody else that wants to read the rest of the story. Uh, but I will say chapter four obviously won't be the end of it. There's still a little bit more after that. But yeah, um, I'm not even gonna set a time frame. I wouldn't even say that like volume one will be finished anytime in the next half a year. But I will say is uh, right now, I guess my kind of plan is to at least get all of volume one out there and readable on Scribble and we'll see where we go in the future especially with volume two because 
I haven't edited Volume 2 as heavily as I edited Volume 1, so it might take a long time after Volume 1 has been finished to uh, upload it to the internet. And, uh, yeah. Now, other than that, uh, the Halloween video released on the 15th of October. And this kind of goes over what Halloween is like on Janiki. And as you can imagine, it's b basically samey for the most part. There's not really too much difference in it. But the I'm just looking at the script here, actually. I'd say, like, the second half of it is really where... Well, not even the second half, actually. Just kind of like the second paragraph. The second paragraph is where it really gets into something quite unusual and something where it's a bit confusing especially where we are with Sherry Arbor's story now how it gets to this kind of point and how it will mingle in with Sherry Arbor's story going forward so yeah uh, make sure to give that video a listen uh, because it's just a nice video to have because I know last year I did a Christmas one but I never actually got around to do a Halloween one so this is kind of like that kind of catch-up um, the only other thing I've got to mention within this update video is the fact that I basically just not uploaded much more. I've been uploading like rehashes of um, the Path to Our Savior, like our loops and stuff. I think it's the off vocal version this time that I was doing. And other than that, there was a few memes. There was the one news, Australian news meme that I uploaded to this channel. And I think the other one was uh, the slander video. Because sometimes I'm just in that mood. And I'm like, I want to make some memes. I make them. I just upload them. Have you ever checked out the Twitter account for Sherry Arbor Story? It's literally just me just dunking on myself a lot of the time. So, yeah. Obviously, make sure to follow Sherry Arbor Story on Twitter. Sherry as Story. And, uh, yeah. I think that's really it, honestly. Because, again, this is just a short update. It's not much. I, I just wanted to kind of try and get back to sticking to the update schedule. Because I know we lost it there for a li like a good 15 days last month. So hopefully this will go out on Halloween, and if it does, once again, happy Halloween to everyone listening, and goodbye. Welcome back to the 22nd update for Sherry Arbor Story. And yes, Sherry Arbor Story is a light novel series I'm currently working on. I know, I know, congratulations to me. I did, like, as of recording this, is 23rd November. Yesterday was, oh dear, it was so good. I literally edited so much of volume four which is the first topic by the way i actually like edited over volume uh, it's not volume four sorry but um chapter four i wrote it down wrong here but i edited that so now all i have to do sorry i just lost track of what i was thinking of there that's why there was a cut but i was just saying to myself you know what of course that's not enough i need to just edit over chapter four like one more time and maybe, just maybe, I might be able to get Chapter 4 of Volume 1 out before the end of the year. Now, if we want to talk about Chapter 5, th th there's no way in hell. I'm sorry. Like, there's absolutely no way I'm going to get Chapter 4 and 5 out before the end of the year. So at the very least, Chapter 4 will come out. And then maybe Chapter 5 next year. Not even in January. I wouldn't even promise January or anything like that. So, yeah. But yeah, no, seriously, like... I actually had to do something different with this. I'll just give a little insight. Um, I essentially combined two chapters together because originally they were kind of just small on their own. And I was like, well, these kind of just blend into each other anyway. So there was no point of them being separated. So I put them into one. So this next chapter is probably going to be a bigger chapter than the last chapter I released, chapter three. Um, so yeah, make sure to watch out for that. Uh, make sure to follow the uh, Twitter account, Sherry as Story. And, uh, yeah, you'll be informed when that's happening. And I know the account as well was freaking out when it realized that I was actually editing Chapter 4 and actually did a whole basic edit, like, of Chapter 4. So, yeah. Right, I know I just talked about that and talked about uh, Chapter 5 not coming out. But I will say as well, uh, because I've been doing so much with uh, Volume 4, I keep saying Volume 4, Chapter 4, uh, obviously there's no progress made on the future volumes of Sherry Arbor's story as of right now. Uh, right now I'm more in the mood to like edit a lot more volume 1 before I start looking at the other volumes again. And plus I know for a fact that like once volume 1 is fully finished and maybe released out, that is kind of the plan right now, that I'm probably going to have to like have a good old like hard look and edit. Sorry about that, that was my phone. <laughs> I'm going to have to definitely edit through Volume 2 the same way I did with Volume 1, where it took me, like, not even just two edits over. I would have to keep going and going and going and going until I'm actually satisfied with the amount of edits I've done 
And then when I start transferring the text onto Scribble, I would want to like actually read over the thing. Again, this is if I do release Volume 2 on Scribble, which again, it's kind of the current plan right now just to release Sherry Albert's story on Scribble Hub. Maybe in the future I might get it out into more places. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll sell physical versions of like Volume 1, but we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, um, other than that, what has happened uh, recently, other than the uh, Volume 4, Chapter 4 progress, sorry, that's going to be annoying me now, is the fact that a meme compilation was uploaded onto the Sherry Albert Story channel, and some of the memes within this compilation are actually images that have only ever been tweeted out or put into community posts on YouTube. So make sure to give that video a watch. And I will also say this, I know I love saying those words, <laughs> just, and I will also say this, because there is actually a good few bits to actually put into this update. Uh, a new soundtrack piece is coming uh, in December, obviously because it's the Christmas month that you kind of hint that, you know, it's going to be Christmassy themed. Uh, so make sure to keep an eye out on that. And, uh, yep, that's all I can really give away at the piece. It's obviously another demo OST piece. It's not going to be, like, another banger like the Path to Our Savior. Uh, maybe in a few more years we'll have another uh, banger like that. I really should look into actually making, like, um, like an anime outro song for a Sherry Aubrey story. I think that would be really cool. Right, speaking of um, anime intros and other videos that might even include them, uh, the best of 2023 is coming. And if you don't know what that is, it basically encapsulates all of the four channels that I have myself personally. So, Joseph and Nightflyer, Joseph and Nightflyer's Clips, Joseph and Nightflyer's Archives, and the Sherry Arbor Story YouTube channel. And amalgamates all the best moments from all four of those channels into one video. Now, obviously, I don't entirely take everything from other platforms like Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok and stuff like that. I mainly just focus what's uploaded onto YouTube and make that into the actual video. As of editing the best of 2023 right now, it's, I think, almost 40 minutes long. And I think it's probably going to be the, one of the only best of compilations that are still uploaded. Because the other ones had to be archived for meantime. Maybe in the future I might get back to them. But I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm straying a bit too far from Sherry Arbor Story. I just wanted to say, basically, Sherry Arbor Story will be in this um, big mega compilation at the end of the year. I'm hoping to try and get it out, like... On the 31st of December, that is kind of the plan, or at least near the end of the year. Either that, or get it, like, uploaded in January. I do still need to make a few more edits to it, and I need to do a bit more edits on the intro and outro, because usually in these videos I would use um, other anime songs, like the covers I do of them. But because we literally have, like, the path to a savior, that kind of just changes things, so, yeah. Alright, everyone. We're almost there at the end of 2023. I need to say this as well, actually, whilst I remember. I do have kind of an idea of, like, maybe doing a kind of big, like, recap video of all the things that have happened during 2023. Obviously, this would exclude, like, 2022 because, like, that's kind of just in there. I just want to focus on this year and how this has been legitimately probably, well, as of right now, it is the biggest year for Sherry Albert's story because it's run a lot longer than when Sherry Albert's story initially started back in 2022, or at least when I revealed Sherry's concept for the first time. So yeah, here's to 2024. Uh, I know it's a bit early to say that, but hopefully it'll be bigger and better, but I'm not going to lie, I, it might be a bit smaller because um, I'm not probably going to be ordering as much concept art pieces anymore, and I'm probably not going to be just ordering much from uh, or commissioning even stuff from people in general so yeah you know we'll just have to wait and see maybe if i'm lucky i'll win the lotto next year i'll f off sorry censor that censor that i'm sorry i didn't mean to just say that outright outright i'll just uh go away for a month uh and then i'll come back and i'm like lol uh here is the sherry arbor story anime teaser trailer <laughs> nah i don't think i'd do that but it'd be funny to think about that wouldn't it Anyway, thank you all so much for listening to this update video. Only one more now, at the end of the year. Maybe I might even meld the recap and the update video together, or I might even just do the, like, recap video. It just depends on, like, how much stuff comes out next month. As I said, Chapter 4 of Volume 1 is meant to be coming out, or, well, I'm hoping to get out, ne like, next month in December. And I also have got this new music piece basically ready to go at this point for when December hits. So 
yeah, I think it'll be worth doing another update video by then. But anyway, thank you all so much again for listening, and I'll see you uh, hopefully before Christmas.